We're back again! <laughs> We're back again trying to do this challenge, bruh. We're using Marie's palette. So that means the splat charger. We're not allowed to use specials. We're not allowed to use sub weapons. And we're not allowed to use hacks. So no hacking, no sub weapons, no special weapons. And if that wasn't hard enough, we're doing this with only tap shots. For, for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna say that a tap shot, because if I accidentally charge, for, like hold the R button for a little bit, like do this, like, like this, that's fine. I'm gonna say that for it to be a tap shot, it has to be less than a quarter charge. Less than a quarter charge, and we'll still call that a tap shot. Marie's palette, no hacks, no sub weapon, no special weapon, charger tap shot only. So, um, I don't know, let's get, let's just get started. Last time I tried to do this challenge, we made it all the way to floor 30 and then died. Okay. Give me that armor, please! I'm dead! No! That was... Re that was really hard for me to swallow. Oh, uh, double splatting recovery. Okay, I have a feeling this run is dead in the toilet anyway. I'm just gonna do this. Even though this is bad. This is a really, really bad level. But I'm gonna do it anyway because it has an upgrade that I really, really want. And I think that this upgrade in particular is worth actually doing this level. See, normally you're supposed to have specials. <laughs> it, it, man! It, it, oh, don't try to kill me, please. I'm not in the mood. I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. That's unfortunate. That was a pixel off on my fire. Ow. Leave me alone. I'm gonna die here. Yeah, that's... Uh... Alright, thank you for the for the good lucks. Thank you for, for wishing me luck, man. <laughs> I hope I... I hope... I hope I, I get the run. But, uh... I, I don't think it's gonna happen tonight. Hopefully, hopefully I get good RNG. And I just get lucky bomb every single time. Disc drop is a good start. Range! Okay, here we go. Alright, we're not gonna get got by parallel cannon anymore. Splatting wow. Wow, okay. Um, poison ink is probably the most important thing for me to have at this point in time. Increasing ink damage. Now that's pretty good. I'll, okay, I, I, it does something, so I'm gonna do it. Also, it's a rigorous floor, so it's gonna give me a lot of mem tokens. It, it, would, it would be foolish of me to pass up the opportunity to get more mem tokens when I'm guaranteed to get a vending machine every 10th floor. So, Hello, Slolstar here, and I'll be dropping in to provide post-commentary for some of these floors. On stream, I've done some of these floors and explained my approach to them several times, so I don't really take the time to explain my strategies in this video. <laughs> At least not on this run, this successful run. I don't usually do that unless someone in chat asks, and uh, I didn't really have very many people in chat that day, so it's unfortunate. For this floor, you can see that- oh my god, I almost fell there. Um, for this floor, it's very easy to complete if you just take your time. It's true for almost everything in side order, actually, and you'll see that when I do the later floors. Here you can see that every time I break the portal, I splat all the marching on Dante's before moving on to the next one. For a floor labeled as rigorous, this one certainly isn't quite... It's quite not rigorous. <laughs> That's so lame, dude. Oh my god, what am I doing? Um, but yeah, the, the gelatins don't spawn in very quickly in this level at all. It's really surprising to me that this is labeled as a rigorous level. It's pretty funny how painless it is compared to others. Some of the normal floors are actually a lot more difficult than this one. Trust me on that. Trust me. <laughs> Nice! Alright. Let me get some water here. Oh shit, I forgot to uh, close my water bottle. It was just sitting open this entire time. Okay, swim speed up is good. 
more mobility it's it's easy to forget how important mobility is there's like so many things it's just like oh if i had a little bit more speed i'd be able to make it through or if i had this or if i had that it's it it really just goes to show how dependent you are on uh, on the chips leave it alone you dork Ink saver sub. Wow, look at how useful that is. <laughs> uh, okay, 4%, I think that's enough to, like, typically carry me, right? But I still don't have Lucky Bomb, which is a problem. Oh! Oh, okay, we got another run going. Lucky Bomb is really the, the end-all be-all to whether or not you can do this. <laughs> Why? What? Dude, he wasn't- what? I already killed him! Why does he exist? He shouldn't exist yet! I already killed you! Get out of here! Dude, I'm trying to paint a zone here. Thank you. God damn! Okay, well, I guess we're just never gonna have to worry about ink, but man, poison ink though. We do get more points for this though, so I'm gonna go for this. It's gonna be hard to run out of ink now, which is, I mean, that's good. That's what I want. I have screwed this level up before, which is really funny for considering how easy it is, but like, it's not free. Like, no, no rigorous level is. Yeah, so this level is actually pretty, pretty easy for a rigorous level as well. The hardest part is, of course, dealing with these lasers, and you need to deal with the sprinklers. You, you gotta kill them before they get to the splat zones, that's the most important thing. For the towers, usually you can jump over the lasers, but sometimes they can hit you at weird angles. It just takes some getting used to. Okay, it's not worth it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go... Something else that I would recommend you try to do, try to keep the towers from shooting over the splat zone, otherwise the level will never end. There we go. Cool. Almost, uh, almost fucked up, but we're, 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 uh, we're doing good. We're, we're doing good so far. Okay, we have range this time, so now, now if we get, um, intensifying harmony, we're not fucked. <laughs> this is a this is pretty good. Elusive boat bo okay, this is just a free this this is free no matter what you have. But Well I say free, but obviously he can still kill you, so you gotta be careful. In fact he did kill me one time, which is funny. But uh, it, it's just because, like, it's so easy to get impatient with this boss. Yeah, I hate this boss. This is my least favorite boss in Side Order. Actually, I think it's my least favorite boss in, like, all of Splatoon. It's very boring. You just shoot it a bunch, and then it dies. And it has, like, a billion health. I, I, I hate it. Instead, I want to take this time to talk about the abilities that I think are most important for you to try and get. Cool. If you're trying to do this challenge. I'm really trying to look for Lucky Bomb. Lucky Bomb oh. is the most important one. If you can get Lucky Bomb, nice. that one ability alone, I think, covers all of the sins of doing this challenge. It's kind of busted. I almost want to say that if you really want to challenge yourself, you should try to do this without Lucky Bomb, and you would be in for a world of pain. Mainly because Lucky Bomb is the only way that you can do crowd control. You know, aside from, like, Disc That's Drop, so which is, you know, its own thing. Lucky Bombs are so incredibly useful. I don't even know how I would approach this challenge if I didn't have Lucky Bomb. It is that strong. But, um, another ability that I would recommend you try to get is Squid Attack. Squid Attack allows you to have another method of doing damage and it's almost as broken as lucky bomb if i'm going to if not more broken than lucky bomb with squid attack you can literally set up an area in your own ink and then you can just do consecutive squid rolls and then you'll eventually kill all of the enemies and you don't have to worry about anything 
If you miss time a squid roll, yeah, you could die, but that's like the least of your abilities. Some other important uh, abilities that I think are worth getting are poison ink, sticky ink, any kind of ink recovery, and of course disc drop. Those are like what I'm looking for when I'm doing this challenge. Okay. Just gotta kill these guys and then we're golden. Dude, I'm not used to this movement speed. Oh my goodness. Swim speed is cracked. Dude, I forget just how amazing it is to have, you know, to be able to move. God. And I think, I think just one chip goes such a long way. I forget how much speed increase you get out of it. By the way, if you've been watching for this long and you like this video, consider giving it a like and also subscribing. I'm very new to this. I'm, as you can see, I don't really have a lot of experience with making videos like this. This is my first time adding post commentary. What the crap? My phone just went off. <laughs> I'm not even going to edit that out. Look, I know my editing is scuffed, but I'm really new to oh, this, okay. okay? I'm trying my best, all right? It would mean a lot to me if you subscribed and give me a good shot, all right? Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm cringe, dude. Easy! But neither of these are great, so yeah, we'll go for the vending machine. If we get lucky, we'll, uh, we'll get something amazing. Oh, sticky ink isn't useless, though. I mean, I'd rather have other things, but actually Sticky Ink is... I would go out of my way to get Sticky Ink, actually. Sticky Ink is pretty good. I, I, kind of, I kind of forget about it. I think I need the armor drop. And I think this floor will appear multiple times, so I'll be able to maybe get it on a better... on a better ability, a better chip. It's funny, because, like, when you're trying to do these challenges, you don't want to only do easy levels, because... You would think, oh, then the, what you just pick all the easiest levels and then and then you win. But uh, I wish it was that simple. Oh my gosh. Do I have Lucky Bomb already? I do. Oh, I forgot. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh no, this this run is is actually going, dude. I, I, my aim feels pretty bad today. I'm not gonna lie. So we'll we'll get this just so that I can ensure I don't miss anything. I prefer this over homing because I. Homing, you don't get... Sometimes homing will home in on enemies you don't want it to home in on. It doesn't discriminate. Which is good, but also, like, bad. Because I, I, I like having total control. That's why I'm not crazy about Pearl. I don't... I'm not, I'm not a big fan of not having control over myself. And I'd be able to handle the danger right now. Okay, we'll, we'll do this. No drone, okay, cool. It's a normal level, we should be fine. I don't have much to say about 8-ball levels. Really, they're all easy. Um, just know that the balls attract the attention of the Lentos, so you don't have to ever worry about them aggroing on you and you should be fine. That's, uh, that's about all there is to it, really. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Dude, the, I, I have to admit, the, uh, the, the fanfare at the end of Side Order is pretty, it's, it, it's, it, it, it's catchy. Nintendo does a good job with the fanfares. Uh, we can do this one, because we have Lucky Bomb, yeah. We just have to make sure we kill the top portal. If we don't, then we're fucked, but, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna do this without gliding. You're, you're crazy. This level is really easy under normal circumstances, but in the context of this challenge, it's pretty hard to do if you don't have the right chips for it. Usually you can do it with any weapon, you don't even need any chips, but you need Lucky Bomb or Squid Attack if you want to do this challenge for this floor. This floor is uh, really hard without crowd control. Okay, Ooh. Okay, we can recover a little bit and now we're good to go. Should be smooth sailing from here. Although we don't have Pearl, so uh... 
I did not consider that. But we have Lucky Bomb. That should cover us. Just so you know, when I said we don't have Pearl, I didn't mean that we couldn't glide. I meant that we don't have Killer Whale. Killer Whale is usually Ugh. something that I try to get. Spoiler alert, I never get it in this run. <laughs> the luck was pretty bad. Come on. I said this before, but it bears repeating. It's really important to stay patient. I just gotta get into that corner and we're good. Especially for levels like this. You'll see that I'm just taking my time. Being impatient will okay. get you killed. And remember, if you die, you're boned. Slow and steady. Uh, Pearl's killer whale would be nice here. But, uh... We can do- we can do with Lucky Bomb. I actually don't think you can do this... I wonder if you could do this without Lucky Bomb. I don't think you can. At least, in, in the context of this challenge, obviously. One useful trick I do all the time is I try to paint under a portal while I shoot another portal. This allows for the poison ink to do damage to one portal while I'm doing damage to another portal. It allows you to damage two portals at the same time. All right. Huh. <sighs> I told someone that this was an easy floor. I, I think I need to take it back. I think, well, if you're not doing the challenge though, that's the thing. It's not hard to break the first portal, and it's not hard to keep the enemies at bay. It's only hard here because I'm, I'm restricted to tap shots. <laughs> I have to keep reminding myself that. Oh my god, tap shots make everything so hard, dude. More swim speed up, wow. You know, I'll, I'll take it. I like, I like, uh... Oh, did that say bombarded constant whatever? Is this the, is this the floor I'm thinking of? No, this is easy. Okay, we can do this. And I have range, too, so I should be able to easily poke. Nice. I should be- yeah, I can reach it easily. You, so Usually this is, like, almost impossible to reach those guys, but I don't even have to jump for it. Wow. So far, so good. We're halfway there, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> This challenge really doesn't get started until you get to floor 20, dude. Oh, I have a vending machine. Wow. Wow. Am I gonna pass this up? Do I risk the vending machine or do I just take the main damage close and wait for floor 20? But if- but the floor 20 can be a dud. That's the thing. The vending machine on floor 20 could just be a dud. Like any vending machine could just have junk. I'm not crazy about main damage close. I, I, I don't believe in it. But it's better than nothing. And I'm going to be really upset if I check this vending machine and I don't get anything out of it. I don't like main damage distant either. Should have went with close. Fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go with distant. I'm never... I'm, all, I'm never... I'm only gonna get one though. It's not. It's never gonna be good. I'm only getting it so I don't get nothing out of this floor. Wow, more sticky ink, dude. They're gonna really get slowed down by my ink, huh? Okay, so I don't think with this amount of slowdown, I don't think I have to worry about getting surrounded by like really, really threatening enemies, like the Lento, right? Or these guys, the Andantes. You know what this per this is gonna prepare me for? This is gonna this is good. This is good uh, if you want to practice with the squeezer. Since the squeezer doesn't exist in side order, this is a very close approximation to that. Oh, dude, look at how slowly they approach me. <laughs> they are approaching me so slowly. They, it's like a crawl, basically. Oh my gosh, bro. Okay, if I fail this run, we're gonna give up on the challenge for now. I'm gonna play some multiplayer. Kind of feeling in the mood for some multiplayer before I go to bed. 
Although, I don't know how smart of an idea that is. Wait, why am I shooting these guys? I can just do this. I, I, I don't, I, I like had a massive, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not thinking, dude. <laughs> I don't really want to do Eternally Hunted. Uh, YOLO. <laughs> this is a, uh, what am I doing, dude? What am I doing? I, I. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have to do this. This is uh, the pal. The thing I'm getting out of this is really not. How much of a difference is that really? Oh, I, I well, I, it makes it easier for me to swim through it at least. Okay, well, I don't know why I'm doing this, but uh. Well, it's too late to back down now. This floor is really freaking scary, in my opinion. It's actually not really that bad, um, under normal circumstances. But in the context of this challenge, yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, I wouldn't consider this an easy level, though. There are a lot of rigorous levels that I would say, oh, that's really easy. This is not one of them, but it's not that bad, actually, when you know what you're doing. Again, under normal circumstances. With only tap shots using this charger, it's pretty atrocious, and this is a pretty big risk that I'm taking that is not really necessary, but, uh... The main problem, especially for this challenge specifically, is the tower starts off in a weird place. And as you'll see, it's gonna take me a while just to get it past the first checkpoint. I wouldn't recommend doing this without Lucky Bomb. You need Lucky Bomb or Squid Attack if you even want to think about doing this in this challenge. Okay, we got armor. That's good. If I can pick it up, that is. Which I might not be able to. Okay. That was a little risky, but, uh, we'll take it. You know what I could use? Squid attack. I think squid attack would be nice. Oh, shoot! I actually killed everything. Bro. How did that happen? Okay. I really want to deal with the, uh... The tower, since it's already at max speed now. That is, uh, concerning. When the tower reaches max speed, where it's just shooting you immediately over and over and over, it gets to a point where it's really difficult to deal with it. You can't always be jumping over the laser. Eventually the other gelatins are going to catch up to you and you'll either miss a jump and get hit by the laser or a gelatin will uh, break your armor and then you'll get splatted. So it's very important to take them out okay. when you can. Okay, that thing's done. That's good. And now it's back, which is, uh, fantastic. But I should be able to deal with it easier now. This is a bit of an advanced tactic, but the gelatin spawn in cycles. So, me splatting this tower here right now, okay, just nice. after it spawned, means it won't spawn again for a good while. Oh, I can't do anything! The tower is in such a weird spot, dude. Okay. Here we go. This will ensure that I can at least get this tower to get somewhere. I feel like once we make it through this first checkpoint, because it's so much easier to, to get it started once it's here. But when it's all the way over there, like, this, this area is very safe. This is, like, my favorite place to be, to thin out the horde. Between checkpoints 1 and 2, this is probably the easiest part of the entire level. Um, it does spawn in two towers, so you'll probably want to take out one of them. The one in the center is not really that big of a deal. You could probably just get away with ignoring it, but the one on the side... The one over to the right here. That's the tower that you really don't want to leave al alive for too long. And uh, you'll see I take care of it right here, actually. Um, but the one in the middle really isn't that big of a threat. Um, not, not between these two checkpoints. 
Um, just stay here and splat the gelatins and you'll be fine. That guy's too far to matter, which is good. Okay, now I have to move, move in circles. Okay, good. Let's get this. Nice. I mean, really, it just boils down to being patient. One more thing I should mention about these floors that'll be really good advice for anybody who's struggling with them. You don't need to be mashing the fire button to keep the tower moving. I keep forgetting this, but as long as you keep the ink level above Ooh. the red line, which is really easy to do even if you're just shooting it slowly, as long as you keep it above the red line, the tower will move at full speed. The only time you really need to focus DPS on the tower is when it's at a checkpoint because the ink will drain faster. If I could use try, I, man, I miss having specials, dude. If I could use try strike, we'd be done. Ah! By the way, if any of you guys have advice for me as a content creator or as a streamer, please let me know. I need criticism in order to grow, and we've reached 100 subscribers on YouTube way faster than I thought would be possible. I'm actually really surprised at my growth. And on Twitch, I'm almost at 100 followers as well. I don't have a lot of criticism oh, to work with, so please, any advice or criticism would be greatly appreciated. Just please don't be mean about it, okay guys? Just take your time, just take your time. Do not get in a hurry. If you get in a hurry, you will die. Words to live by. Okay, cool. Oh, come on! How can you see me from there? Uh, do, do I wanna, uh, you know what? I think I'll, I, I could, I, there's two things I could do. I could try to go balls to the wall, or I could wait for discs. Waiting for discs seems like a really boring way to do things, but it's a safe option. Okay, well we have two discs. I guess we'll wait for the third one. If, if the second disc took too long to show up, I was probably gonna just wing it, but... <laughs> I mean, when a level does this to you, it, it, my patience starts to run thin. Like I always say that, now I'm doing this anyway. And that's what I get, I lose my armor. At least I had armor. The thing is, is that Charger is ready to, to shoot me immediately, so. Oh, there's the disc, okay, it's over. Oh, that took way too long, dude. How much time do I have? Okay, yeah. It, it's getting really late for me, so... If this run isn't it, then, uh... Actually, I said I was gonna play multiplayer, but I don't know anymore. Because it is pretty late and I am pretty tired. We, we have Intensifying Harmony, the harder version. It's not free, we can die, but, uh... Let's be, uh... Ah, yes. Intensifying Harmony. So, under normal circumstances, this is actually really good. easy. Because, well, the AI is not very good at fighting. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it plain and simple. However, the, under the context of this challenge, as with most things, this is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Remember that even though the AI isn't very good at fighting, they do double damage. So, they don't have to do much to take away your armor. Okay, we got a blaster! Oh my god, dude. That's why I hate these blasters. They're so annoying. Okay, we got some gelatins. Let's take care of those guys first. Uh, blaster. 
I really should take care of the blaster first, but... Okay! Ooh! Okay. Blaster's done. Hopefully we don't have another one. The blaster is the worst one to fight okay, against okay. in this context because it does double damage. Even the splash from the blast will take away your armor. It is that bad. Cool. All right. I'm going to reclaim this entire area back here. The safest place to be is usually in the center. These guys won't go on top of the center area if you're on it, unless the entire area around it is painted. Unfortunately, with tap shots, it's really hard to have any type of good paint output. So they end up coming on top of the center a couple times, and I have a couple close calls, as you'll see. Ooh. Okay. They are coming up here. I wonder if they improved the AI in like a hidden update or so. Oh god! I'm. Oh! Ah! Okay, heal. Okay. Oh, uh, someone has a special. Is it you? Oh! Mm, I need to heal. Don't anything hurt me. Okay. Another blaster, dude. That's just what I didn't want, bro. He's gonna do a rain. Okay. Frick. Heal, 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 heal! Okay. Oh, what? Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, I'm vulnerable! Oh my gosh, dude. I think all three of them are out. I think that's the problem. I, they're, they're all covering the ink and they're moving so fast. need health. Health, 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 Not storm, not storm. Okay. 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 Oh, shit! They're not supposed to do that! Okay, okay, all right. Oh, man, this just got surreal. Holy crap. This is supposed to be easy, bro. Oh, my God. I think I underestimated these guys. <laughs> or I'm just too tired for this, man. Where is this guy? Okay, there he is. Oh, it's the blaster. Fuck. Okay, I'm not gonna fight him while these guys are chasing me. Okay, is that Storm? Oh! Oh my god, dude! That is a lot harder than I remember it being. I don't know what kind of crack they were smoking today, but holy shit. Oh man, I don't know if I can do this, guys. You knew I was good, but not that good? Oh, dude, you should have seen what I did to Inner Agent 3 the other day. Wow, that's fucked up. Squid attack is so useful. Do I go for squid attack and forfeit the vending machine? Or do I take the vending machine? I'm gonna go for the vending machine. I wanna try to power myself up as much as possible. If we can get like a higher likelihood of lucky bombs, for example, like, dude, that's what I really, really, really need. Uh, oh wow! I got squid attack anyway! Oh my goodness! Ah! Ah oh, can special. Okay. So I ended up having to spend money for it. <sighs> okay, well, I'll keep. Do you find... well, I mean, I. I... 
Thank you, I guess. Oh, man. Ugh. I mean, at least I didn't have to risk anything for it, right? This is where shit gets real. Rush knockback, which... Uh, I, okay. Ink Saber sub obviously doesn't... Th this is the only thing that actually helps us. Also, we don't really have a reason to take any risk with anything. So, let's just not do difficult levels unless it has something I really care about. Oh yeah, I have squid roll now. Woo! Oh my god, I hate, I hate, I hate how how inconsistent squid roll is sometimes. Oh, they're all coming after me because I haven't found the last eight ball. Yeah, that's right. Where is the? Oh yeah, I need to go here. Okay, let's just put it in. And then we're finished. Of course. Never simple. Easy! Unreasonable mountain battlefield. Oh yeah, no, I can't do this one. I don't- it, that, that's a DPS check. No, I don't have enough DPS. I also don't have killer whale. So no, I, I can't do that one. If you have the DPS for it, it's actually a really easy one, but I actually- don't think I'd be able to do that with just with tap shots. No, not not without help. Not without the right chipset, and I definitely don't have it right now. Don't take damage. Mm. I mean, we can try. I want to show all of these levels because they look really cool to do with this challenge. Unfortunately, if I did that, this video would be too long. But I am going to post the VOD of this stream later on, so check that out. In fact, I think I'll put a link in the description below, so do check it out if you have the time. For a lot of these late levels after floor 20, I don't have too much advice to give. It's really a skill check, so um, all I can really say is get good. <laughs> It's it's going to be hard even if you have the right chipset to deal with this, and I definitely don't have the best chipset right now. But, as always, just remember, patience is a virtue. Okay. The disc just makes this free, but... Didn't really need it, but we got it. Alright. We might have it this time. Our chipset could be better. It's not as good as what we had last time, that's for sure, which is unfortunate and uh, concerning. What are we missing? I don't think we're missing anything. We have squid attack, which is good. Okay, we have mobility, swim speed, that's gonna be... That's gonna be super, super, super helpful. Um, we have... And also our ink slows down the enemies a drastic amount, so... That's also going to help with crowd control. We have Poison Ink up to 400%, which is also, like, that that's great. We have Lucky Bomb, but we don't have stacked Lucky Bomb like we did last time. If I could increase the chain to 20, we could increase the odds. I'm surprised I haven't seen that one either. Ugh. Rush Attack uh, increases my... Damage is increased by having the rush attack color chip. Okay, so yeah. Um, we have a lot of mem points. Let me see what the danger is all about. If it's if it's some if it's no pearl, or if it's like ridiculous, then we're we're gonna run away. Okay. That's, oh, no painted no paint no floor in the middle. No. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> Alright. 
In this level, you can really see the power that Lucky Bomb gives you. Even though I only have one chip of Lucky Bomb, check out how quickly I deal with this large amount of enemies here. See, the bombs already do a really good job, as is, but they would do an even better job if I had two of them. I can one, one can hope and pray. This level has a pretty safe place for you to stand your ground here with this tower here. This first checkpoint is a really nice one. You can kind of just sit here and wait until you get a armor, discs, whatever you need. And then whenever you need paint, you can just shoot the tower. It's really nice. It also provides you cover from the arpeggios that the tree fires at you. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's not good. I was going to take care of the... Uh... Christmas tree, but, um, unfortunately, couldn't do it. The tree, I know, right? That stupid tree. I call them Christmas trees, but the Accordos are pretty dangerous if you're out in the open, and I do recommend taking them out as quickly as you can. I think I'm just gonna wait for a disc drop. I think that's my best bet. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank god. It sucks, because in order for me to deal with it, I have to get so close, and my weapon is so inefficient. It's so laughably inefficient, dude. Dude, I'm gonna be a master at the squeezer after this, dude. I don't really have a lot more to add to this level. I think it's pretty straightforward what to do from here. It's just a massive cluster of enemies. With with Lucky Bomb, you can just continue to shoot them and you'll be able to keep them at bay. Wait until you get, you know, the disc drop and you should be fine. I do really recommend that you have a disc drop for this final stretch. I don't know how you would approach it otherwise. Alright, there it is. Whew! I, that was a normal level, by the way. I wasn't even... Oh no, that was hard. Okay, that was hard. It, that was that was a hard level. Yes! Oh! Whew! Whew! We got the vending machine. Hopefully, hopefully it's not garbage. Please, for the love of all that is holy, do not give me garbage. Uh, no! Bounce pad floor? Oh, no. And it ha and it's- and it has a danger on it, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's try to increase the lucky chain window. That's not- that- I don't think that's necessary, but I mean, that'll make it easier for me to keep the chain at 10, I suppose, which will make lucky bombs more likely. Don't use special weapons. Okay, well- I'm not allowed to use special weapons anyway, so... Okay, only one. Wherever he is. Okay, there he is. Oh, it's a good thing I had armor. Done. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat Smallisk like this. Ah, oh, wow. Oh, oh. Disc piece drop, yeah. If I do cruel Sisyphean eight-shaped floor with tap shots only. Dude. 
As if, as if, dude, can you imagine? It The run started off fine, but all of the vending machines were ass. Depends on what the danger is, but the thing about it is, is like, I just, I just don't know, man. I'm not running out of ink too much, so maybe I don't have to worry about it. Main ink coverage is going to make it easier for mobility. Don't take that. Ah, it's not gonna happen. But I also don't think we're getting another vending machine, so. It's a hard level, so uh, let's not underestimate it. Unfortunately for me, I forgot that there is a very particular enemy that is really important for you to deal with while doing it. I just went for the tower. Uh, it's the Christmas tree, or the Accordo. Um, you'll get to see him right there. He's up there at the top. You want to make sure you kill him, because he's gonna spawn the arpeggios and make your life hell. Oh shit, I forgot about that guy. That's right, he's here. In case you didn't know already, you can kill the Christmas trees by just shooting off Get out of here. all of their bulbs. Doing that will make them explode, which will kill the gelatins that are nearby and also paint around the area. Okay. Whew. Um, okay. I mentioned before that it's really important that you deal with the Christmas trees or the Accordos as soon as you can. And I never really explained why, but the reason why you want to deal with them as soon as you can is strictly because of the fact that nice. they will spawn arpeggios relentlessly until you die. And it's really difficult to deal with arpeggio spam. It, it, it really is. That's why there's a danger that is called arpeggio barrage. Nope. Oh, dang it. Oh shit, I almost died. Oh my god. Okay, okay, disc, 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 oh my gosh. Holy crap. That disc could not have come at a better time. Holy moly. One of the reasons why I say you need to be patient and why patience is so important when doing these challenges is because survival is the number one most important thing you need to be concerned with, especially in a no-hack run where you only get one life. You need to prioritize survival over everything else. You will always get another opportunity to take the tower. You will not get another opportunity if you die. Oh shit. And by the way, you heal faster in your own ink than you do standing outside of it. That's true even outside of side order. Okay, okay, we're safe. Now I just have to make it through. This is not good. We're cornered. We're cornered, we've got we've got the uh arpeggio dude. This is horrible. Where is he? I guess he left. That was armor! Oh my god. Okay. Okay, there he is! Okay. He's taken care of. Let's bring this over. Because, like I said, our chipset is not great. Um, I'm going to take a look at it. Just so I can be reminded of what the level is. But I'm not... If it looks like anything that I can't... That I even think I can't handle, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I mean, Turbine's not too bad. You can always get discs, but... I feel like this is too risky. I've never tried this level before, too. I feel like I should just stick to what I know. Even though, and the, you know what, the chip is nice, but... No. 
The chip, the chip is nice. Ink damage, five percent more ink damage. I mean, that's okay, but I don't think that's gonna make a big difference. We'll just go for the. Even though this is useless, this is this is gonna be more manageable. I know what I'm, what I'm dealing with here. I should try this challenge with lives and just see like, what, like, all the levels past floor twenty, which ones are the most viable. That's actually not a bad idea to consider, and I would recommend that you do that before doing this. It's kind of silly that I didn't do that as much as I probably should have, but, uh, you know, you live and learn. Wow, I almost died there. This level is pretty bad as well, and I'm gonna explain why. So, this level, I mean, it's, it's doable, but most levels after floor 20, are going to give you trouble. It's just going to be something That's that you have to accept. The thing that makes this level very difficult is the fact that once once you get all the way to the bottom, there is a spawner at the very top of this level. And when the gelatins have the high ground, you are at a massive disadvantage. It's very, very difficult to fight your way up this place. So, uh, yeah, just good luck to anyone else out there that's trying to do this, because it's a trip. This is a terrible start. It's not just this level, either. Pretty much almost every level, even if it says normal, is going to give you a run for your money past 420. They're all run-enders. You've got to be on your toes. And hopefully you have Lucky Bomb and Squid Attack by this okay, point. Okay, we got armor. That's gonna cover a lot. Okay, armor, okay, whoo! I wasn't expecting to have a shot at this, but I'm here now, so it's like, it, it's in sight. If, if floor 29 could just give me a vending machine, I would be so grateful. Here's the problem, going up is the hardest part of this whole thing. Going down's the easy part. Again, if I had my specials, if I could use my specials, then I would just be able to use my specials to hit that from all the way up here. Be able to use Tri-Strike. Unfortunately, I can't. I have to somehow... Yeah, I have to hit it. I have to bring it up with me. Which is, uh... That really sucks. Even getting up here in the first place is hard. Okay. Oh, okay. We can go up the other side. Maybe. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Holiness. Oh, gosh. Okay, then I'll just go to the other side then. Fine. Oh, dude. It's so bad. It's like right there, and I just can't reach it because it's fucking on high ground, dude. Could y'all stop spawning for like one second? One more level, one more floor, and we're and that's it. Our chipset is awful, dude. We can get a disc drop. Oh, I just realized. Oh no, it might be over. We have a dangerous floor on a hard level. We get a three percent disc drop, but if it takes away pearl. We're, we're, we're just, we're just, we're just screwed. <laughs> Let's see what the danger is. 
If it's Pearl being gone, we we can't do it. We're we're it, it's we're okay. Pearl's fine. Arpeggio barrage. Okay. I think we can deal with that. <sighs> I believe in myself. Hi, Clover. What? You here here to comfort me? Even if I get past this, I still have to fight Smallisk, and that fight's gonna take an eternity. Okay. Whew. Let's do it. Ugh. Okay, oh my gosh, bro. I can't believe I got hit by that that stupid charger, though. Oh my god, this thing has a lot happening, doesn't it? Oh, I might be... I might be screwed. This is... Nope, I'm dead. I can't get out of here. I'm just dead. I'm just dead. Oh! Clench those butt cheeks! Oh my goodness! Crap, how are they able to how are they able to see me from down here? How do I do this? Discs? Should I go for discs? Like what do I do? Okay, out of here. Disc? Maybe I should just go for discs. I don't think I'm going to be able to handle this while these guys are out and about. It's just too dangerous. Ugh, now the Christmas tree's up, dude. Oh, this is awful. I'm not going to be able to approach that. Okay, well, I got one. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Oh! Oh, that, oh, dude, that would, uh, oh, man, okay, okay, all right, we made it to Smallisk, let's see if we can do it, oh, man, I'm just, I'm, I'm so scared, I'm so scared because last time he killed me and now I'm like, oh, dude, I have to be very careful, I have to, I have to be so mindful, you really do not want to get trapped by the reef slider, so, like, and the way it happens is when you're approaching a portal. So, I think we just have to do disc drops on on it, like especially on the third, on the final, on the final phase. We just need the disc drop. Oh, we're we're we, we've got another shot at doing this. I I I can't believe it. This this run is so scuffed. It's so scuffed. I do not like our chip set. I don't. I don't like this. This palette we got right going on here. It, it's. It's not even filled. None of the vending machines were good. All the vending machines were crap. This was horrible, man. What is it gonna be called? Obstructive ordeal overlorder. Oh, okay. Just a little. Just a boring. Boring name for the fight. Okay, let's do this. We got this. Okay, Clover. Listen. If you're gonna do that, you're gonna have to stay out. I have to focus. All right, Clover wants to come into my room. Then he wants to leave my room. I've lo I'm locking my door. That Clover's not allowed to come in until I finish this fight. Either I will win or I will lose. We don't know which one will happen yet. Hopefully the prior. Oh, what the crap? Why? Why do my squid rolls not work? I'm gonna paint the entire area. As, as one does. We're gonna paint the arena to make it as safe as possible for us. I would love to show you this entire fight, but it takes me 30 minutes to beat this guy. 
I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing. Just enjoy the highlights. If you want to see the whole fight, go check out the VOD. Link in the description. I wonder if if the, if if this boss fight was allowed to have a difficulty level like easy, normal, hard, rigorous. I wonder what Nintendo would have rated it as. I don't think it's quite rigorous. Although with the tap shots, uh, it's pretty bad, pretty rough. Okay, cool. Oh! Ugh. It takes a long time to do damage to him, too. This thing does not do hardly much of anything. Well, oh, I'm out of ink. Dang, we are running out of ink, huh? Man, our chipset's awful, dude! If we do this, if we do this, we're doing it against the odds. The odds are not in our favor right now. I don't know what hit me. Oh, it was a splat bomb, wasn't it? Ah. Oh. But what's what what really counts is this final the final phase. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, yeah, let's not. Okay, we can just go in. Okay, final, final, final moment. Now we now it gets serious. <sighs> what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do? Oh, dude, I just I don't have enough DPS to deal with these these enemies. I think I think I need a disc. Ask and you shall receive, I guess. Okay. That helps. Alright, that helps a lot. Alright. We're gonna go for this thing. This is the one that needs to go. Okay. Let's really think about this. If I approach either of them, it's probably a death sentence. But if I, if whatever I do, I need to leave room for me to, to go somewhere. Okay, I can travel behind me if need be. Because I need to be prepared in case he uses Reef Slider. Okay, there it is. There's a Reef Slider. If I just had a better chipset, dude, my luck was pretty bad. Uh, I can't really- there's no point in complaining. It takes me a while to realize this, but in order to beat Smallest in this challenge, you need to paint the area in front of the portal so that the portal runs into your ink when you're trying to shoot it. Okay. You'll see it right here. The area in front of this portal's painted, it runs into my ink and takes damage from my ink and my gun. To set this up, you need to make sure that you lure the gelatins away from the place that you painted in front of the portal's path prior to shooting down the portal. Probably not safe for me to approach this. Oh, okay. Okay. Woo! Okay. Woo. That's definitely his scariest attack. And he could use it a lot quicker than you'd expect as well. Oh, see? Right there he goes again. He just used that attack. I think he has to- he, he only has like one- one attack of buffer. And that's it. I mean, I'm pl I'm probably playing this way safer than I need to, but I don't want to take any risk. You know? Last time I failed. I feel like if I just take my time, just be reasonable. Stingray? Okay, cool. Dude, this entire section is covered in black. That's not good. If I can't co cover it in my ink, I don't know how I'm ever going to be able to approach it. Getting towards- getting close to that portal- okay. 
Okay, nice. Okay, this will allow us to get close. Go, 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 go. Okay, cool. Dude, I'm holding my controller so freaking tightly right now. Okay, another Reef Slider. Oh my god, the portal went right back to where it was. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go. Leave me alone. Oh, I don't think the disc is enough. I need some way to, to damage it. unfortunate. Oh my god, one of them broke my armor. We can't let up. Ah, oh, it's- that thing heals so fast, dude! I don't know if I have enough DPS to do it. I don't know if I have enough. See, and it, now it's already back, dude. If maybe if I get another disc. Now. Ooh, this is gonna last forever, dude. Okay, now he's doing steering, right? Ah, uh, bro. No discs, come on. Give me a disc. Ah. Uh. Stand my ground. Okay. Come on. Ah, oh, it's too late. It's going back. Oh, dude. This is so aggravating. Why? Why design a boss that can't be killed? Jesus. Like, it's healing faster than I can do damage to it. <laughs> this is, this is, this is going nowhere. Okay, I'm gonna, maybe I should approach it from the other side. I'm gonna go this direction. Okay, this time, I'm not going to use the disc to get anything. I'm just going to use the disc to paint. This entire area, I'm going to paint. Now, we get another disc. Hopefully. Well, not like that. Okay, we could- we got, I could work with that. Not- not like that. Oh my god. Where are these guys? Where did these guys come from? There's only one portal. Okay. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Those sharks put put a huge dent in my plan because they, they paint as well. Go, 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 break it, 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 die, die, die! Okay, okay, okay. All that's left is him. No more portals. Just go in circles, just go in circles. Let's let's get paint down. He can't he can't hurt me if I just move in circles. So let's try it. 
If we move in circles, that's where the enemies are spawning, from the center. So moving in circles will literally avoid any and all death. I knew this challenge would be tough, but man... I mean, just take, just take, 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 take your time, take your time. No need to rush anything. We're, we're, we got this. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm going to lose it if I fail at this point, dude. At least he doesn't heal. Just take your time. Dude, this is an incredibly boring fight. With, with the amount of waiting that I have to do. But it's still, like, so incredibly nerve-wracking because one mistake could just be the end. Even though I have armor, it's like, I can still lose. Whoa, what? That entire area was painted. Come on. No enemies near him, so I could just circle him. Whoo! Gotta be careful, though. Okay, now he's gonna summon the enemies, which... Just try to get as much damage in as I can. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's get away from him. Oh, never mind. Just do damage, damage, damage. Were, were those? It's almost there! Yo! We did it! Oh! <laughs> Oh my hand hurts. Dude, I had like a I had like a like a death grip on my controller, dude. Oh my goodness. Definitely not healthy to hold your controller tightly, but my god, I couldn't help it, dude. I did not want to lose to Smallisk again. Oh my god. You just ha you have to be so patient. You have to be patient. Oh, man. It's over. It's over. I did it. I finally did it. Now what? <laughs> no, I mean, I, d I did it, dude. That reef slider, though. Dude, the reef slider. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a relief. Now now I don't have that haunting me in my, like, anymore. Because that, that, was, that was nagging at me the entire time when I failed. I mean, Smallisk is a in uh, Smallisk is kind of no joke. If I didn't have discs or Lucky Bomb, like the discs and Lucky Bomb, okay, and Slow Ink, the the ink slowing down the enemies that also helped a lot. I am I'm so relieved. It's so late too. I'm so tired. Yeah, play that guitar for me. I deserve it, man. You want to know what I've been thinking, Shino? Uh, I've been wanting to do a, a different kind of challenge for a side order, but I don't have enough followers to do it. Like, <laughs> nobody's in chat. So, like, it wouldn't work. But I kind of want to go through side order and let chat pick what what floors I do. So every time we get to a floor, it gives us uh, the, like the three options. We'll do like no a no hack run with a weapon of chat's choice, I guess. 
And then chat chooses the levels I do in side order. They can pick like the absolute worst levels and then like like to, to like torture me and whatever. And I'm gonna have to try to make it through. <laughs> I think that would work. I think that would work. But I don't have enough followers. There are not enough people care about Splatoon. The old, people only show up to my streams when I play Toho. Which is really sad. It's really hard to get people to watch you on Twitch when you're playing Splatoon, I've noticed. I don't I almost don't wanna ugh, I almost don't wanna leave the screen. I just wanna sit back and appreciate what I've done here. 82 minutes to beat this with under under the restrictions that I had. Oh my god, dude.